good morning. Um, don't know about my hair. <laughs> it's five o'clock. It's Saturday. My alarm went off at quarter past four. Um, I could, the dog park was pretty booked up, so I've had to come earlier than I would have wanted to, really. But dog park's just easier. Um, Daphne smacked me on the lip this morning. We went for a snog, light. And she split my lip and split the outside of my where my piercing is. She seems fine. I was bleeding, white. Bleeding. I was the right bleeder. So hopefully I'm going to look like like I've had filler for the rest of the day. Miss Yearwood Market today. Vegan market, so that's good. Because that means everything in there is vegan. And that means lots of meats. <laughs> yeah. So I've got this, because the dad has, is left with the dogs um, when I'm at work, it makes me feel less guilty if I pay him in chocolate cake. Because <laughs> he loves chocolate cake. So I take him chocolate cake and it makes him like, oh, I'm getting chocolate cake today. And it makes me like, oh, here's your payment for looking after the teaks. So that's good. Um, Daphne's done a pam. Be right. I couldn't even find it. The case of the disappearing pam. That is a case for Poirot. What happens to the pam? It stings. See, it's still there a bit. Well, I'm happy with that. Next time I go, I'll ask her to go over it. She said she would anyway. But it's still there. Ho, ho, ho. That's what? I got all the rings finished that I wanted to finish last night, but I didn't get anything else finished. And I priced up the bangles that I made. I should have worked out the price before I made them because they've come in at 30 pounds. And there's a part of me thinking, would I pay £30? Well, I would. <laughs> and that's what they're worth, but we'll see. That's what they're worth, that's what they cost, that's what they're going on sale for. They'll either sell or they won't. Simple as they! Simple as they! My lip hurts. Feeling a bit sorry for myself. A bit sorry for myself. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Bugs. Bye. I've arrived. Way too early! We're not supposed to set up is from 8 and I've already been sat in the van around the corner for 10 beanies. I can't do it! Can't be on time. I can either be ridiculously early or ridiculously late, but I cannot be on time. It's just a physical pin possibility for me. This is how my eye makeup looks these days. I nearly lost my eyebrows, they just seem to disappear, so I have to draw them on with a with a crayon. <laughs> That's the story of my life so far. Wonder man. Oh, I'll probably go in like I'll probably have like Two games of Sudoku, hard level. They usually take me about four minutes. So I can get two games of Sudoku in before and then I can go around and act like I've just arrived. Not that I've been sat round the corner with the engine running for 20 beanies. That's the thing what I've been doing. I still get very anxious on market days. I'm not really sure why. I think it's that. Uh, have I forgotten something? Nervousness. But anyway, thought I'd just tell you that I was early. I'll catch you later. Do you like my leggings? Them's bright and colourful. Anyway, punks.
punks. Got your lay off. Just setting off uh, um, back from <laughs> uh, from today. Um, not a brilliant day today. It threw it down with rain for the first sort of ten minutes that we were technically open, and whether that affected everybody's desire to leave the house, I don't know. Of course, it's glorious sunshine now, but there just wasn't the footfall today. There weren't as many stalls today, although people said that last time as well for this same market. Um, so, yeah, not what I hoped. And tomorrow, um, I've had an email to say I've been moved. So I was um, at Beaver Castle in their pop-up shops which is cool because i've been there a few times so i know exactly what i'm doing i know my setup and everything and then i've had an email today to say they've moved me into a gazebo up at the main castle in the castle grounds which has left me a bit kind of freaked <coughs> because you have to drive up there take your stuff drop your stuff off then you have to move your vehicle to the ladies field wherever that is and then you have to get a minibus back up to the castle. Um, and I don't know where the toilets are, and that is quite a big panic because I don't have much notice in between want the toilet and having the toilet. Because I don't listen to my own body, I ignore it, and then all of a sudden, it's having it. Not gonna lie. But I'm going to be in the castle grounds, finally, a venue befitting of my status. Hey, cheeky pants my gun. Um, so I'm in my usual shutdown phase, uh, aftermarkets. Um, I probably just bought myself like 700 cakes. My lips really hurting from where Daphne had butted me this morning. But that's all I've got to report, really. I didn't sell any of my new bracelets. I didn't expect to. We'll see tomorrow. I don't know what the clientele will be like. At Beaver Castle Artisan Fair. We will see. So it's about three o'clock, I would imagine. Um, I'm gonna go home and paint some pebbles and maybe make some woven bracelets. I don't even know. I might just go home and sit on the sofa and eat cake. Let them eat cake. That's what Marie Antoinette said. We shall see. Okay, I'm not going to panic about tomorrow yet. I might start panicking in a minute. <laughs> anyway. I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you've got sunshine where you are. And I will catch you later. Bye.